Hello everybody, welcome to Yoga with Katya. In this class we will be retuning and reconnecting with our bodies and minds. Let's begin. We'll start in child's pose. So having your knees slightly apart, toes touching. If you need to pad your knees or support the knees or the ankles, you can use a blanket, roll it up or tuck it behind your knees or under your knees to make yourself more comfortable. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Release the hips back towards your heels and then allow your head to come down. You can also bring your hands under your head to make a little pillow for your head to rest on. Well, take a moment just to settle in, to bring ourselves onto our mat, into our body. And to begin to start notice how we're feeling today. And perhaps reflect on what has brought us here today and what are our expectations. What is it that you need from your practice today? Something that you like to focus on, perhaps that you like to reconnect with. Leave anything that's not beneficial now for this time on our mat. Leave that outside the room or wherever you are. De de disconnect from this. And really just focusing on yourself, on your breath. Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose together. And we exhale out through the mouth. We inhaling through the nose. And slowly exhaling, fully emptying. One more together, inhale. And exhale. Now continue breathing through the nostrils, in and out. See if you can breathe into a count of four. And exhale to a count of four. Inhaling to a count of four. Exhaling to a count of four. And we'll just do that a couple more rounds. Focusing on the breath. Encouraging our breath to lengthen and to deepen. But at the same time, we don't strain. So keeping always focused on your breath, connecting the breath with the movement. Lift yourself all the way forwards onto your hands and knees. And then giving your legs a stretch, stretch the right leg back, push back through the heel, stretch it out. Bring your leg back in and step the other foot all the way back and stretch out your leg. Good. And our first movements will be Big circles or smaller circles, whichever feels good on your body. Waking up our hands, the connection, the hands with the floor. Warming up our wrists, our arms, our shoulders. All the way into the sides of the bodies, into the hips. Change direction. We continue to breathe in and out through the nose. And then bring yourself back to the center and sit yourself all the way back onto your heels. Again, if you need to prop up, put a cushion behind your knees so that you're more comfortable. Sitting up nice and tall, rest your hands on towards your legs. Draw your shoulders down and lift up your chest, lift up your heart. We'll circle our head to release tension in the neck. Let's do a couple circles, both directions. Being mindful not to crunch or compress the neck when your head goes back. Changing direction, going the other way.
And next time, when you're looking down, pause here and bring the head all the way back up in line with the spine. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms away, stretch your arms up high to the sky. Push up, lengthening through the sides of your body. Feel the rib cage moving away from your hips. Inhale, look up to your hands. Exhale, burst the arms open. Interlace your fingers behind your back and stretch the arms down. Feel your collarbones widening as if they were smiling. If you can, press your arms a little away from you and even try and pull your fingers apart, but they glue together. Be mindful not to arch into your lower back. Inhale, release the arms. Take the arms out wide to the side. Cross your right arm all the way in front of your chest. Left arm hooks underneath. Squeeze your arm towards your chest. At the same time, draw your right shoulder back and down. So notice how that right shoulder wants to lift and hike up to the ear. Draw it back and down. Breathe in here. Breathe out. One more in here. Exhale. Release the arm. The arm that you just stretched, your right arm, reach it all the way up, hand behind the neck. The left hand is coming to help and we gently stretch the arm up. Press the elbow up and back and towards the center. Again, draw the tailbone gently under just to be sure, again, we don't take strain into our lower back. Inhale, open the arms all the way out to the side. Same on the other side, cross your left arm, right arm hooks underneath, stretch out your left shoulder. Left shoulder draws back and down. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Inhale, exhale, release the arm, take the arm all the way up, left hand behind your head, neck, right hand is going to help it. Press your left elbow up, back and towards the center. You might notice a difference between the two sides, we're right-handed, left-handed, so it's quite possible that one side feels a little bit tighter. Just notice and practice patience for your body. One more time. Now inhale, open your arms into a goal post position. Feel the arms really strong. Squeeze the elbows back and draw the shoulders down and feel the chest opening. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. You can look up. Exhale, imagine you're pulling a heavy weight down. Draw the elbows out nice and wide. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way up. Two more. Exhale, elbows out wide. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take the elbows out wide. From there, come all the way forwards onto your hands and knees again. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, keep the spine long, stretching out the toes. Send your hips back. Visualize the head still in line with your spine. So be mindful not to let your head hang forwards. It's still part of the spine, it's just an extension of it. Inhale, rock forwards, release the toes. Lean into your arms, almost a little bit like a plank. We're just waking up our arms and shoulders more now. Tuck the toes under and again, lengthening back. Stretch the toes. Head is an extension of your spine. Inhale, rock forwards again. Tailbone down, so carefully you don't sink down, you don't arch your back. And exhale, send the hips back. From here, press into your hands, stretch the fingers out. And then lift, float the pelvis all the way up into your first downward facing dog. Now the first downward dog, we can sway our hips side to side. As to waking up, stretching others' legs from sitting on them and being flexed. Inhale here. Exhale, find a moment of stillness. Perhaps the knees are still a little bit bent. Feel the tailbone lifting up high away from the crown of the head. 
focus on the length of your spine. Only then after on the length of the legs. From here, bring your knees all the way down towards the floor. Walk your hands all the way in and come up into high kneeling. Good. You can stay as you are. I'm just going to turn again so you can see better what we're doing. Stepping your right foot out to the side, slightly forwards. Knee points up to the sky. Place your right elbow lightly onto your thigh and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Left hip, elongate and lengthen. Push it forwards. This is called Gates Pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift yourself all the way up. Straighten your right leg out to the side. Take your hands down on the floor in front of you. And then walk your hands all the way forwards. Like a downward dog, but you're kneeling and with one leg out to the side. Now you can keep your hips up into the air and lined over your bent knee. Or, permitting your knee is happy, you could send your hips back and sit back onto the heel and stretch out this way. Breathe. One more deep breath in. Exhale. From here, inhale. Bring yourself, your hands right underneath your shoulders and then sweeping your right foot all the way in. Walk your hands in, come all the way up to high kneeling. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release your hands down. Stepping your left foot out to the side. Leg is a little bit in front of you. Toes point to the side, press your knee back. Inhale, stretch your right arm up. Exhale, side bend towards your left leg. Feel the length all the way from your right knee up to your right fingertips. Take care of your shoulders. Try and keep the left shoulder in particular relaxed and down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, rise up to the center. Stretch out your left leg. Place your hands down in front of you. Walk your hands forwards. Extend the arms out. Lengthen and reach forwards. Again, either staying here with your hips up in the air, above your bent knee, or if you like, knee is happy, you can sit back onto your right heel and stretch out this way. Breathe in here. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, we meet with our hands under the shoulders and then sweeping your left leg all the way in. We're back and on our hands and knees. Placing your hands mindfully, stretch the fingers out nice and long, press all 10 knuckles down, tuck the toes under, sending your hips back first and then float the pelvis all the way up and back into your downward facing dog. Head between the arms, inhale. Exhale, reach the hips up high, lengthen the heels back down. Inhale, rock forwards into plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees down and then slowly, abdominals engaged, peel your thighs, your hips, your belly, your chest, all the way down to the floor. Prop yourself up onto your elbows for sphinx pose. So now, our first extension for our back, we'll press down and lift up. Draw your heart forwards. Feel the elbows as if they're pulling back along the mat to allow your chest and heart to move forwards. Shoulders draw down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Releasing down. Slide the hands back under the shoulders near the chest. A baby cobra, inhale, lifting up. Elbows pointing back, shoulders down. And then slowly lift yourself up and back. And take a moment in child's pose. Breathe in here. And breathe out. So child's pose is always there for you. At any time you need to 
take a step back, you need to take a rest, you need to take a moment for yourself. Come into child's pose. Give your body permission to come here. Inhale, rock forwards onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes under. Send the hips back and up. And downward facing dog. Stretching out the legs. From here, look forwards to your hands. Walk your feet all the way forwards to the top of the mat. You can have your feet hip distance. And then we're just going to hold our elbows and allow the body to hang forwards, releasing your head. Perhaps a very gentle sway side to side. Knees either straight or softly bent. Bring yourself back to the center. Hands onto the shins close to the knees. Move the shins into your hands. Hands press against the legs. Inhale, rise halfway up. Make a long position with your back. Exhale, fold all the way forwards and down. Breathe in here and then breathe out. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to the heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Keep your gaze nice and soft. And just... Feel your body right now in this moment. And again, retune, reconnect with what you were finding when we were starting the class. What were your expectations? What was it that you need from your practice today? And perhaps from that you can set an intention for yourself something that resonates with you that you could work with. So to give an example, it could be, I am patient with myself, or I am kind and patient with myself. Anything that helps you to focus, and perhaps that you can take even into your life beyond the yoga mat. Let's start to flow. We do half sun salutations. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold forwards. Hands to the shins. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, release, folding down. Inhale, hands to the hips, elbows high. Rise all the way up with a long flat back. Draw the tailbone under. And exhale, release your arms down beside your body. Inhale, sweep the arms up again. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Knees softly bend, hands to shins. Exhale, release, forward fold. Hands to hips, one more time, elbows up. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head forwards, rise up, draw the tail under. Exhale, release your arms down. One more of these. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. This time, sweep the arms out to the side. Inhale, rise all the way up. Press your feet down. Reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Let's add on. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, hands to shins halfway up. Exhale, hands down. Take a big step with your right leg back. Keep your legs straight. Inhale, feel the length from the top of the head to the back foot. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale here. As you exhale, bring your left knee down to the floor. Step your right foot forwards. Tuck the back toes under and straighten your back leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step your back foot forwards. Feet together or hip distance apart. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward forwards. 
Inhale, push down, elongate, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Second side, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Grow taller, exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Step your left foot all the way back. Nice long lunge. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, step your front foot back. Downward facing dog. We'll have one breath in here. Exhale, lower your right knee down to the mat. Step your left foot forwards. If your leg gets stuck, use your hand and step your foot forwards. Tuck the back toes under, straightening your back leg. Find your beautiful long lunge. Inhale. And exhale, step your back foot forwards. Inhale, rise halfway up. Draw the hips back, the heart forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. And we still add on a little bit more. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, right foot steps all the way back again. This time, bring your right knee down to the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down. Tuck the back toes under. We meet in plank pose. Find your plank. Inhale, hold your plank. Exhale, lower your knees down, release the toes. And then it's if you're peeling down, the elbows bent, pointing backwards. Thighs, hips, belly, ribs, chest. Locust pose. Reach your arms back. Reach the palms down to the floor. Lengthen, lift up the chest, float up the legs. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower down, hands under the chest. Cobra pose, inhale, lifting up to cobra. Exhale, onto your hands and knees. Back into downward facing dog. Inhaling here. Exhale, left knee down to the mat, step your right foot forwards. Inhale, stretch the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bringing your hands down, step your back foot forwards. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Ground your feet, inhale, up to standing. Reach your arms up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Second side, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping your left foot all the way back, knee down. Low lunge, inhale, arms reach all the way up, palms face towards each other. Exhale, hands down, plank pose. Step your front foot back. Inhale, hold your plank. Exhale, knees down, thighs down, hips down, belly down, chest down. Inhale, stretch your arms back. Exhale, start lifting the chest, the head, the legs. Shoulders draw back and down, strong locust pose. Breathe and hold. And breathe out, lower down, bring your hands near the chest. Cobra pose, inhale, draw the elbows back, lift the chest. Exhale, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee comes down. Step your left foot forwards between your hands. Inhale, stretch your arms up high to the sky. Exhale, hands coming down, step your back foot forwards. Inhale, halfway up, hands to shins. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to the heart. Close your eyes, one deep breath in here. And exhale. Open the eyes. We'll take this into some standing poses. Inhale, reach your arms up again. Starting the same way, exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, place the fingertips to the mat. Take a big stride back with your right foot. This time, turning your foot so your heel can come down to the mat. So the toes are still pointing forwards a little bit, but your heel is now able to come down. Your left foot is still pointing straight forwards. From here, bring your hands to the hips and lift up your torso. Good. Now turning the hips open, but only as far as you don't feel any strain in your sacroiliac joints, in your, in your back. Aligning the chest, either in line with your hips, or you can turn the chest right to the side. Stretch the arms out nice and wide. Your front knee points in line with the toes. Bring your sitting bone right underneath you. So be careful your bottom is not sticking out. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Side angle pose. Place your left elbow onto your left thigh. Stretch your right arm up and over. Either your arm is reaching up into a long diagonal. If this feels uncomfortable on your shoulders, take your arm straight up towards the sky. Breathe here. And breathe out. Inhale, come all the way back up to warrior two. And for a moment, straightening your front leg. Take the left arm up, hand behind the head. Right hand is one more time coming to help. And then this time we'll take the right arm out and take it all the way behind you. See if you can catch your fingers or hold on to your top. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bend your left knee one more time. Press your left knee towards the left. So making sure the knee does not roll in. Left sitting bone underneath you. Breathe. Release the arms. Inhale, float the arms out wide to the side. Windmill your back arm all the way around and we'll meet in plank pose. Good. At the top of your plank pose, you have choice. You can move down to the floor into your locust and cobra. Or if you rather feel like a downward dog, would be the best choice, downward dog. Or child's pose if you need to rest. So make this your practice and choose what works best for you. We meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in downward dog. With your hands, push the mat away. And at the same time, use your fingertips to grip the mat. Your hands are really active. Look forwards to your hands. Walk, step your feet or even hop all the way forwards. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, release down. Ground your feet, rise up to standing. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Second side. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, big step with your left foot back, turning your heel to the mat. So your heels are more or less in line with each other. From there, when you feel grounded, hands to the hips, lift yourself up. Turning your left hip gently back, but just as far as it's comfortable. So it might be that your pelvis is still on a diagonal, and that's absolutely fine. Stretch the arms out wide, and feel the chest nice and open. Breathe in, breathe out warrior two pose. Press your right knee to the right, keeping your right sitting bone underneath you. Breathe in, 
Side angle pose, exhale, right elbow resting lightly on your right thigh. Left arm either stretches straight up to the sky or reach it up and over making a long line from your back foot all the way to the fingertips. Breathe. On your next inhale, push the mat away, lift yourself up through your warrior two and straighten your front leg. Lift up your right arm, bring your right hand behind your head neck. Left hand is going to come and help it, press the right elbow up and back. Then take the left arm behind you, palm facing away from you and see if your fingertips can touch, you're holding on to your top. Once you establish the arm position, bend your right knee again and come back into your warrior two. Lengthen the tail down and feel there is an engagement in your center, your abdominals are working. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, release the arms, float the arms out wide to the side. Exhale, back arm reaches all the way up and over. Plank pose. Inhale, take a moment and plank. Decide if you need to move or if you need to be still. So either vinyasa, downward dog or child's pose. Remember whatever you chose to do, to keep breathing, to refocus on your breath. We meet in downward dog, breathing in and breathe out. Walking, stepping, hopping your feet all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, release forwards. Inhale, all the way up to standing. High mountain pose, stretch up tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. So we'll have one more round of this with a variation. Inhale, take the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step your right foot, big stride back, heel down to the mat. Heels in line with each other. Press into the outer edge of your right foot so the inner knee, the inner arch of the foot are lifting. Hands to the hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in. This time, repeat your side angle pose with your elbow resting on your thigh or perhaps sliding your hand down to the floor on the inside of your foot. You could also use a block or a book to rest your hand on. Keeping your top arm reaching straight up to the sky or perhaps reach it up and over creating that long line from your back foot to the fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Keep the right side spinning open towards the ceiling. And at the same time, take care your left knee is not rolling in towards the left. Press yourself all the way up to warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, straightening your legs, breathe in, eagle arms, bringing your left arm under the right arm, press the arms away from you and up, bend your left knee again, breathe in here and breathe out, feel the broadness across your back whilst your legs are strong and steady. Inhale, sweep the arms open, lengthening the front leg. From here, reach out long over that front leg. Again, very lightly, rest your left hand onto your left thigh or shin or ankle, stretching your right arm up. Traditional, we look up towards the top hand, but if your neck does not agree with this, you can look forwards, you can even look down. Visualize all the triangles in your body. 
Feel the waist on both sides nice and long. Pushing the ground away, bend your front knee, inhale, rise up into your warrior two. Windmill the back arm down, plank pose. Again, tuning into your body. Do we need to move or do we need to be still? Do we need to rest? So make it your practice. Vinyasa, downward dog or child's pose. Breathing, whatever you do. Keeping the mind focused on the breath. Each time your mind is wandering around, bring it back, focus on your breathing. We meet in downward facing dog. Look forwards to your hands. Walk, step, hop, your feet all the way forwards to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, press down, come all the way up to standing. Reach up tall, exhale, hands to the heart. Second side, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Step your left leg back. Heels in line with each other. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. The inner arch of the foot lifts. The inner knee is supported. Hands to the hips, lifting yourself up into your warrior two pose. Stretch the arms out nice and wide. Press your right knee to the right, right sit bone underneath you. Inhale here. Exhale, side angle pose. Right elbow resting lightly onto your right thigh. Or if you want to take it further, slide your hand down to the inside of the leg, down to the mat or on a book or block. Left arm reaches straight up to the sky or reach your arm over. Find that long line from your back foot all the way to the top of the hand. Breathe in here and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, your legs are strong. The top half of your body is graceful. Inhale, push the feet into the ground. Lift yourself all the way up into your warrior two. And for a moment, straightening your front leg. Eagle arms, right arm under left arm, cross the arms. And then press the elbows up, reach the fingertips up to the sky. Rebend your right knee. Breathe here, breathe out, inhale, exhale, let the arms release, flow the arms open straight in your front leg in here and then lengthening, right waist stays nice and long coming into triangle pose, resting your right hand somewhere along the right leg, stretching your left arm up to the sky. Reach out, feel the energy in your whole body. Whole body is alive. Our bodies are strong and flexible. And so is our mind. Inhale, push the floor away. Rise up into your warrior two. Back arm comes all the way around into plank pose. Inhale, take a moment to tune in. Vinyasa, downward dog, or child's pose. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Good. From here, open your feet as wide as the mat. Walk your hands all the way back to the feet. And then bending your knees and come into a variation of Utkatasana first. You can bring your elbows onto your thighs. Lightly lift up your chest. Bring your palms together. So you're in a low squat. Your spine is nice and long. Now you can stay here. Or again, making sure your knees are happy. You can come all the way down. It might be that your heels lift off. If they can stay down, keep them down. If you're all the way down, press your elbows, arms into the insides of the knees. 
palms together and then draw your chest forwards and lift up. Malasana, squat. Breathe here and breathe out. Release the fingertips down, lift your hips up and toes, heels, toes, heels until your feet are hip distance. Bending your left knee, right leg straight, left fingertips on the floor or on your shin if you need to be higher up. Take the right arm up towards the sky. So it's a gentle twist. Visualize your spine nice and long. Whilst you're twisting, you're still reaching with the crown of the head forwards, whilst your tailbone is reaching backwards. Breathe in. Breathe out, release your hand all the way down. Same on the other side, bending your right knee, left leg straight. Right fingertips on the mat in front of you or on your right shin. Left arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, release the arm all the way down. Walk your hands all the way forwards in towards your downward facing dog. One last downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees down to the floor and then Sit back into your heels into child's pose. Breathing in and breathe out. Roll yourself all the way up and stretch your legs out in front of you. Now for the seated postures, you can use a block, a cushion, a blanket under your hips to help sit a little bit taller. It's a really good way of helping you to to rise up and then to get a better stretch. So we're going to bend our right leg, take the right knee back and tuck your foot in. You're now turning onto a diagonal, flexing your left foot, inhale, reach your right arm up and then take a big side stretch over your left leg. Breathe in here and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky, taking your hand to the side, slightly back even, and then press into your right shin, right knee, left heel. Lift the hips up and stretch your left arm over. Inhale here. Exhale, sit yourself all the way back down. Right leg slides out forwards, switch sides, bend your left knee, open your left knee back, turning your hips, facing onto a diagonal. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, stretch all the way up and over your right leg. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift your left arm all the way up, taking your hand out to the side, if not slightly back, pressing into your right heel, left heel, left knee, and stretch your right arm back, breathe in, and breathe out, inhale, Exhale, lower your hips all the way down. Stretch your left leg out in front of you. And then from here, reach your arms forwards. Squeeze your legs together. And slowly, with control, roll yourself all the way down. Lie down onto your backs. Sliding your feet in close towards your sit bones. Resting your arms down beside you. Just take a moment, enjoy this moment you have arrived on your mat. It should feel really nice. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's do bridge pose, inhaling to prepare. Exhaling, connect with your center, draw the tummy in and then start to roll your hips all the way up. 
Make sure you're engaging your legs, your glutes are working, your knees are pointing straight in line with your toes. You can roll up as high as feels good for you. Keep the head nice and straight so that your neck is safe. Inhale here. Exhale, hold. For now, we'll just have our arms beside us. Inhale, you can press the hands down. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, roll slowly down until you arrive on your mat. Relax, breathe in. We're going to repeat our bridge pose. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, draw the abdominals in. Inhale, start to roll your hips all the way up. This time we're going to change our arm position. So we'll have two options. Option one, press your elbows into the ground. Have the elbows nice and close to your body. Fingertips point up to the sky. Using your upper arms, your elbows to help you lift. If it's comfortable for you to interlace your fingers underneath your back, you can do that. Then you snuggle your shoulder blades in underneath you. They'll come closer together. And now you can use the whole of the arm and the shoulders to help you lift up. Continue to breathe. Keep an eye on those knees so they don't start to open out to the side, keeping them pointing straight forwards in line with your toes. And visualize an even curve through your back so we're not taking all the strain into the lower back. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Release your arms. If your hands were interlaced, try and release the shoulders and let them come out to the sides. And then slowly roll your spine down. Take a moment again to arrive on the floor. Inhale here. And exhale. Open the arms out wide to the side and we're just going to rock our knees side to side, keeping the feet apart. Just easing out the back. Bringing your knees up towards the sky. Close your feet, cross your right leg all the way over your left leg. Bring your knees towards the chest. You may lift the head off the floor for a moment. Reach for the opposite shin, so even your ankles. Think of your feet moving to the side. Draw the knees towards you and then you can bring your head back down. Keep the chin tucked down so the back of the neck is nice and long. So we're stretching out our right side hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Releasing your legs all the way down to the floor. Switch sides, cross your left leg over. Lift your knees towards your chest. Perhaps lift the head for a moment. Reach for your shins or even your ankles. Bringing your feet towards the side and then squeeze your knees in towards you. And bring your head back down. You can always bring a cushion under your head or a block to elevate your head. So whenever we're stretching or we find things challenging, even more so we focus on our breath and use the breath to help us. And then releasing your legs. Stretch your legs all the way out along the mat and give your legs a shake. Bend your knees in towards you, hold your thighs and rock yourself all the way up to sitting. From here, you can stay as you are. I'm just going to turn so you can see me better again. Bringing your left foot underneath you, near your right sit bone and then bring your right foot across to the opposite leg. Again, maybe sitting on a block or on a cushion to help you even out your hips. Inhale, reach your left arm up high. Exhale, wrap your arm around your leg and hug your knee towards you. Turn your chest towards your right side. 
Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Release the twist. Turn the other way. Allow your upper back to round in. Lift yourself up and stretch out your legs in front of you. And we do the same on the other side. So bending your legs, bringing your right foot near your left sit bone, knee points forwards, and then crossing your left foot over. Try and have your hips as even as you can, lengthening your left hip down so the waist can be long. From here, stretch your right arm up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, wrap the arm around your knee, drawing the knee towards the opposite side whilst you're turning your chest to the left. Sit up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the twist. And turn the other way, let the spine round and release your head. Lift yourself up, stretch your legs out in front of you. You may remove the flesh from under your sit bones. Legs are long, flex your feet. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, reach forwards. You can bring your hands on either side of your legs. You can hold on to your shins, your calves, your ankles, your feet. Lengthen the spine and then exhale. Reach out of the lower back first, then allow the upper back to round in. Softening your face, relaxing your jaw. Close your eyes perhaps. And allow your senses to draw inwards. to calm your nerves. Breathing deeply. To practice patience and compassion with yourself. To reflect back perhaps on your intention that you said earlier in the class. Very slowly, roll yourself all the way up to sitting. Cross your legs, sit in a for you comfortable position. You can also sit kneeling if you prefer. Resting the back of the hands on your knees, your thighs. Feel the spine nice and vertical. And close your eyes one more time. And one more time, just Reflecting on how the body is doing now after you've been moving it in all directions. Notice the effect not only on the body but also on your mind. Again, becoming aware of perhaps what your expectations were at the beginning and how they were fulfilled or not fulfilled. Can we be content with what is right now, what we have right now? You can stay here for longer if you prefer, or you can lie down into your final relaxation, into Shavasana. You can have your legs out long, or you can have your legs bent, or even put a cushion under the back of your knees. So making sure that your lower back is comfortable, your arms are stretched away from you, palms up to the sky, draw the shoulders down and under, and then relax. We'll take three deep breaths together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. 
Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. Let it go. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now there's nothing else to do. Now there's only to relax, to let go, to absorb your efforts, absorb your practice, and just to be still for a moment. You can stay here for as long as you have time for. If you are ready to continue with your day, roll the head gently side to side. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring life back into your body. Perhaps stretch your arms back, straighten your legs, give your whole body a really big stretch, engaging all the muscles again. And then one leg after the other, hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock gently side to side. Keeping the eyes closed or very soft, roll onto your right side. And from there, push yourself up and come up into a comfortable seat. Feeling your spine tall and proud. Feeling your chest open, ready for what lies ahead. Feeling strong and fle flexible in your body and mind. Inhale, take your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart. Bow your head to your heart. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.